Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying a lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to create a rainbow redeem in Waterdo so you can have a very cute channel point redeem for your chat to play with. So here in the, you know, make sure that you have Waterdo installed and downloaded and make sure you have your character tracking and all that set up. But what you're gonna do is that in the Waterdo editor here, you're going to go into the discover tab here. We're going to download a plugin that will allow us to have a rainbow node. So in the search bar here, you're going to type in rainbow like this. And then make sure that you're on the plugins category. And then there is the rainbow color node right here made by Veyasu. So click on here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the subscribe button here and subscribe to the color node. You can also view on Steam if you want to take a closer look at the example blueprint here. But otherwise though, once you subscribe to this, what we're going to then do is we're going to exit out. Then you're going to go into blueprints here, click on blueprints, and then you're going to go ahead and add a blueprint at the bottom here. Then what you're going to do is add another blueprint here because we're going to make two of them. One of them is going to be our controller and the other one's going to be the redeem, it's going to be the blueprint that receives when Twitch triggers the channel point. So the first one here, we're going to name this rainbow redeem. And then we're going to name this one here at the bottom here. We're going to name this Rainbow Controller. Now, we're going to start off with the Rainbow Controller. So what we're going to do is in the search bar here, you're going to type in Rainbow like this. And then click and drag the Rainbow node. You're going to input the value 211 just to get started, but you can adjust it once you take a look. So once you have this, what you're going to then do is you're going to then type in on Update right here so click and drag on update to the graph here and then you're going to type in light color because what this is going to do is that um we're going to have it where once this blueprint is activated it's going to constantly keep changing the color of the light the light which is going to be your directional light that comes default with water dough so make sure that you do have a directional light if you don't happen to have a directional light for some reason, then click on the add asset here, and then you can go down, to, you know, scroll down to environment, and there is directional light here. You could also use a different light if you prefer, but for the sake of this tutorial, for simplicity, we're just gonna stick with the directional light. So you can add that, but I'm gonna stick with the default one that comes with Waterdo. So I'm gonna go ahead back to blueprints here, and I'm gonna go ahead and connect the on blue um, the on update. So exit to enter here, and then I'm going to set the light to be directional light, and then I'm going to click on color to color here. And once you have that, you should be able to see that your character is changing colors. You know rainbow you can of course again mess with the values if you want more saturation if you like or maybe you want it to be a bit more lighter or something you can adjust it however you want or you can make it faster but again just keep in mind that you know if you make these values way too high please keep in mind the people who do have epilepsy it would not be good so please i recommend just keep it at a low value when possible but either way you should be able to have your rainbow controller here now in order to make it where it's controlled where um only when the channel point redeem is active it will trigger it and then turn off automatically we're gonna go into so we're gonna go ahead and make the rainbow controller we're gonna turn it off for a moment make it disabled by default and we're going to go into Rainbow Redeem and we're going to build this Redeem. So do make sure that in your Twitch settings, you're going to have to go to Twitch yourself. And you're going to add a channel point for Rainbow. So I'm going to assume that you know how to do that. Otherwise, you can look up a tutorial on how to add a channel point Redeem to Twitch. But what you're going to do is that on the search bar here, you're going to type in Twitch. And then... We're going to type in, or we're actually going to go down here where it says Twitch Channel Points Redeem. This is what we're going to need so we can get the info of when, you know, when we pretty much, you know, get the Twitch Channel Point. Um, I will also mention, actually, uh, real quickly because this was actually in my mind, um, in case you haven't already, um, I recommend like on the onboarding assistant, make sure you go through the interaction setup so at least you can connect your account and have some 
example redeem setup already if you haven't uh you could do that or if you want to do it manually you can go into menu and you can go to settings and there should be twitch here you can go through that and connect your account just want to make sure that's elaborated but here on the channel point we're gonna we're gonna pretty much tell we're gonna pretty much tell water though that when our twitch account um act redeems the channel point rainbow it's when we're going to trigger the controller here so uh we're gonna type in an if branch if branch here so if branch here if branch connect the exit to enter and we're gonna make it a condition so in the search bar we're gonna do string contains and then click and drag that we're going to then do reward title so we're gonna connect that from here to a and then output boolean to condition and we're gonna type in rainbow mode like as that like that being our channel point so rainbow mode here and then what we're going to do for if branch is we're going to type in toggle blue blueprint so toggle blueprint enabled we're going to click and drag that here and then we're going to make two of them so click and drag two of them and then you're going to type in the search bar one once more delayed flow and we're going to use the control flow right here so there you go so what we're going to do is that if the channel point from our account from our twitch if the channel point is named exactly this then if it's true if it's true it's going to toggle so the controller is going to enable it that's what it's going to do then we're going to connect these two after let's say 20 seconds or actually we'll do um we'll do five seconds just for the demonstration of this tutorial but you can make it longer after five seconds of delay then we're going to connect this make sure the blueprint is also a rainbow controller we're going to make it where it will disable it automatically and then what you can also do as well because um what you can also do is actually on the rainbow controller we're gonna type in in the search bar disable on disable blueprint here so when this blueprint is disabled we're gonna go ahead and duplicate uh, so click left click on the set light color control C then control V like make sure to move your mouse and control V then we're gonna connect on disable blueprint with the set light color here and then make sure that the light is set to directional and make the color set to whichever was your default. So that way, once um, we have like the rainbow going on and it's disabled, it will reset, it will reset the color. So here, rainbow redeem, make sure it's set according like this. So in order to test it, uh, you can't click on the if branch. It's not going to work like that. But you can test it either by going to your Twitch and then doing a test redeem off. You could do it offline, by the way. You could do a test redeem by redeeming the channel, the rainbow mode and see if it works. Or you can just simply click on the toggle here. And then you can see that the rainbow is being activated. And then after five seconds, it will then reset it back to normal. And that's pretty much how you can be able to make a rainbow redeem in water though. And hopefully this gives you a little bit more insight on how the nodes work though. And let me know if you have any other questions regarding water though. You can I heavily recommend joining the water though discord server. You can get much more quicker help over there as well. Uh, and also like learn even more stuff there. So join the water though discord server for further help, or you can ask me for any tutorial requests or anything like that. But otherwise I hope you have a lovely day though. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!